26 billion dollars um, the president says it's de it's deficit neutral it's going to pay for itself true or false first of all it, it doesn't pay for itself um, and th there are alleged pay fors in the bill and the way that they come up with the biggest uh, is um, they go for um, trying to impose a tax on job creators I mean they you'll hear many of the proponents of the bill talk about uh, the need for us to stop uh, shipping jobs overseas but what this tax that they're imposing does is it imposes an additional cost onto foreign based companies that have American facilities so that means jobs in America suffer so that, that goes even to more of the question of what are we doing here? Why aren't we doing something to reduce the deficit? Why aren't we doing something to help the job creators? Instead, we're coming back into town, spending $26 billion to extend the stimulus bill, which by their own standards, the administration already has said the stimulus has failed. All right, in terms of paying for it, are you telling me that a company like, let's say, uh, uh, BMW uh, or Mercedes, and if they have a plant here in the United States, that in order to pay for this $26 billion, they're going to have to pay an additional tax. Right. The, the, this is why uh, the National Association of Manufacturers, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, people who represent small and large businesses say, wait a minute, this is bad. Uh, these taxes are not something we should be doing right now if you want us to create jobs. And again, it goes back to the point, we're, we're still at 10% unemployment. So, you know, again, it, it just begs a question about the priorities here, and I think it demonstrates again the difference between the two parties as to what we ought to be doing for the people that elect us.